Hey guys, this is Mac Kids One. Today is going to be a video on how to install Mac Fusion, the world in your Finder. So basically, Mac Fusion lets you mount SSH file systems and FTP file systems right onto your computer, so that way you can edit them through Finder without having to download them with CyberDuck or anything like that. Um, we this was in our top ten applications list. Okay, so um. So right here, um, I'm going to have a link to the website to download MacFuse and MacFusion um, in the description of the video. Now, in order to make MacFusion work, first you need to download and install MacFuse, which you can also click the link, another link in the description of this video to download and install MacFuse. It'll be MacFuse.dmg. Um, Once you click that, you want to click OK. And also, you do need to download MacFuse before you download MacFusion, otherwise it won't work. So you want to open up the DMG for MacFuse and open up the PKG for MacFuse. And now it will ask you what you want to do. And you can just click continue, continue, continue. And then you want to select agree because you have to agree. Then you want to click Macintosh HD, then continue, then install. Okay, now you want to type your password. Okay, and it will install MacFuse. And this will go pretty fast, so I'll do a cut here. Okay, so right here it's installed, and you just want to click close. Okay, so now we'll close this window, and you can also eject MacFuse now because we're done with that. Okay, so now you also want to install MacFusion. And this is actually more complicated than installing MacFuse because you can't just unzip it. You want to click download, and then you want to save file and click OK. And now it'll save this zip file to your desktop. When it unzips, you'll notice... Um, that when you double click it, Mac Fusion will come up. But by default, when you open Mac Fusion, if you haven't installed this properly, which I actually have, um, it won't actually work. So what you want to do is you want to, um, and you have to be an administrator to do this, I, I will add right now. You want to Mac, Macintosh HD, open up Applications, and then dra drag this zip file into, into Applications. Okay, so... We want to find the zip file that's in our applications and just copy the name of that. So we're going to copy the name, the file name. Now you want to open up Terminal. Okay. You want to type CD space slash applications at the capital A. And all these codes will be in the description of this video. And then hit enter. And right here, since we've copied the name of this, all you need to do is type unzip space and then paste the name of that zip file right there. And now it'll unzip. Okay. So now that it's unzipped, um, Mac, Mac Fusion will be in your applications, and you can just delete the zip file from your applications folder now, because we're done with that. Um, you will also notice that something called the underscore, underscore Mac OS X will be there. You can delete that as well. Okay, so, right here, under Mac Fusion, now you just want to open it up and check Start Agent Automatically on Login, and then click Start. Okay, so now here is Mac Fusion. So now, if if you've um, set up your keychain, it, it uses your keychain a lot, so you'll need to type your keychain pa password. Now, here are a few things um, that that I already have in Mac Fusion, um, but here's yeah, um, um, so here's the one that's our website, and I'll just show you how to add um, one. You click the add, and then you click SSHFS or FTPSF, and I'll just do FTP. And um, now you want to type MacKids101 as the name because we're going to call MacKids101. Maybe I'll call MacKids101 too. Host. And this is all the information you would specify in um, CyberDuck. And you don't need to leave the path to be anything. So, no, you want to you wanna, um, click Always Allow. Okay, so next, um, you, you can just um, mount any file system by clicking Mount. And it'll mount. And. Um, when you click mount, um, sorry about that. When you click mount on your computer in Finder, it'll be there. But also in Finder, if you press Command comma, you want to go into Advanced and then or um, General actually, and check Connected Servers right here on Show These Items on the Desktop. And then you'll see anything you mount with Mac Fusion right there on your desktop. So it's just important that you set up your Finder preferences, like I said, by clicking on your desktop and then pressing Command comma, and then clicking General and checking Connected Servers. So now right here on our desktop is the FTP thing that is our website. And I'll just unmount this right now. And I'll click back on 
Mac Fusion, and you can mount any of these just by clicking mount and edit will edit the settings on them. Okay. You can you can also use the SSH to connect to another SSH machine. That's what I do with my other machines in my house. And you can SSH to your iPhone, of course, if you've jailbroken your iPhone. And that's actually pretty useful. So um that's how to set up Mac Fuse and then Mac Fusion. Um enjoy Mac Fusion. If you don't have anything to FTP or SSH to, you don't need to get this. So thank you for watching Mac Kids and On. Subscribe and goodbye.